This is my 45th weekly film trying to share with you what we're doing around introducing wellbeing teams and what's working and not working. And this one is about one of the things that's not working and it's how you can make the finances work. So I have a daughter who works at Fan's um, shoe shop and she does a shift and she gets paid for the whole amount of her shift and she gets a pay break as well. And we won't be able to encourage young people or people from retail into home care and care unless we're able to pay for an entire amount of shift. But of course, that's not how home care works. There's a run in the morning that supports people to have breakfast. There's a, a lunchtime run that supports people with their lunch, a tea time run and a bedtime run. And these will only be about four or five hours or four hours usually because there's often a time in the middle, which may be between 11 and 12 o'clock, when not surprisingly, people don't want to get up and it's too early for lunch. So what we've been trying to do is pay people for the entire shift. So a shift that starts around 6, 6.30 and goes on to when we've supported people to have their lunches, which might be around 2. Um, because we think that's a much fairer way to work with people and it's much more attractive for bringing people into the sector. But what it means, of course, is that we've got a gap of an hour that's really hard to film. So making the money work when we're not being paid for that hour uh, is a challenge. And the other thing for people currently working in home care is the travel time is supposed to be wrapped up in the hour. But the reality is you can work for seven hours and only get paid for five and a half or six because of the impact of travel time and the hour you might not be, be working. So we're trying to do that differently in wellbeing teams, but of course that's coming at a financial cost. So the way that we're trying to address this at the moment is seeing if there's an opportunity to work with self-funders around well-being and well-being budgets and I'm testing that out today, meeting a family for the first time. And also seeing if we can offer support to other groups of people. So again, we're working with uh, Wigan Council to see if we can also support people with learning disabilities into work. Um, so using our skills with different groups of people in different ways, because of course it's all about being person-centered, all about people's outcomes and seeing how we can work together using an asset-based approach to deliver outcomes. So that's our, our financial challenge and how we're trying to address it. I'll let you know how we get on.